What is going on, guys? Mobile Carrier News here. And T-Mobile came out with a statement. Now, this article is very old, so it's not a new article. It's very it's very recent. It came out, you know, last week. And basically, T-Mobile is saying, hey, to all the T-Mobile customers that got hacked, all of us were really sorry. We, you know, they're giving out that their apology, their sorriness, you know, like when a company messes up and... You know, just uh, rely on us still. <clears throat> what T-Mobile did, you know, first they came out with the, um, with the whole, oh, we're gonna give you a f- literally free protection, free theft auto, three, th- uh, free uh, theft uh, coverage and fraud, and it we won't charge you because of the whole hack, which I think is a horrible idea, because they're already hacked. So giving them free service to not, you know not be more hacked is just not on the list but now what they're they, they're basically doing now is in this article as you can read timo was saying we want to apologize for compromising your data with a killer zero down for all deal now this deal is already implemented it's if i can read here um i don't think it's for a limited time you know it's basically you know sorry for giving the whole you know, the whole issue with, oh, we compromise your data. So they want to put zero down and everything. Basically, they're going to, they're uh, basically, they're going to give you like pretty much like any, like either any kind of deal or certain things, you know, let's say you want, um, like, let's say you want accessory. That's like, I don't know, a, a hotspot, um, you know, device. Uh, I don't know. And, and let's say you want, you want an accessory or your new iPhone 12 or something like that. And, you know, They'll put zero zero percent down. You don't have to pay a, a percentage of a fee, and then pay the rest monthly. You um, what they'll do is they'll cut it off, and you'll just pay a standard price. Um, let's say you get a new iPhone twelve, replacing your iPhone eleven or something like that, and instead of paying, uh, two hundred dollars down and then paying the rest monthly, it's zero percent down for all, and we won't charge you anything, and it's basically uh, a good on, go to deal. Um, you're, you're just going to be paying either full price or a regular, uh, standard price. And I don't think this is a very good move for T-Mobile. Um, I, I understand you're trying to keep customers in your, in your network service, or you're basically trying to woo customers back into your service. And frankly, I don't think that is going to work. Um, this deal is very, is very, uh, I don't know. This deal is very kind of childish in my opinion this uh the fact that they call it killer zero down for all deal where you get zero down on any device you get zero down on accessories on airpods Uh, you just got to pay full price or monthly and they don't charge you up front i just think t-mobile is very is is playing the playing the apology card i think they're playing it a very bad uh very bad way I don't think it's very good that they're doing it this way. I mean, they. I mean, they're trying. They're really trying to get the as much uh, uh, you know apology as possible. Um, I haven't heard news about T-Mobile actually improving their security in all over everything. I haven't heard nothing about that. I really have not. Um, I looked up to articles. They're still they're still getting a lot of negative feedback. So best believe T-Mobile hasn't even started improving their security that i feel like t T t-mobile is the type of company who will improve their security later on like they know they messed up they know it they know they messed up bad but like the like in the last minute before like the last minute before the plane leaves the last minute before anything else goes wrong they're going to come out with a statement i guarantee you too I, i can literally bet on that they're really going to say hey we actually um you know we really did mess up we actually understand we know we did wrong so what we're going to do is we're going to be investing this amount of money, billions. We're going to be investing 20% from our 5G network investment money to security. And we're actually going to be investing in it. They're going to say that and do that last minute. It's T-Mobile. I mean, they're not they're not really into, you know, really doing things as a priority and doing things fast and right away. That's why I think it's kind of ridiculous how, in my own personal opinion, T-Mobile instead of instead of coming out saying 
We're going to invest more in our security because we really messed up. And security is the, is the, second, biggest thing, the second biggest thing compared to service and coverage. But no, they literally scratched that off. And they literally said, okay, how are we going to get this? How are we going to get customers to really forgive us? Oh, I know. We'll call it a killer zero down for all deal. And, we'll, and we won't charge customers a down payment. We and we won't even look at their credit score. Their credit score is regardless. It doesn't matter if their credit score is 200 or 100 or even 400. Doesn't matter. 0% down. That's going to make us keep our customers. Really, Verizon? I mean, sorry, really, why did I say that? Really, T-Mobile? Like, you actually think that's a good, you know, that's a good idea? Frankly, it's not a good idea at all. I don't think this is a very um, responsible thing to do with this kind of situation that you guys put yourselves in. I mean, like, come on, your your whole data got breached. Millions of people's information got leaked. Half of it sold to the to the hacker and just overall you're giving out a zero a zero down for all deal and it's honestly just not it's just not what i expect from t-mobile i did t-mobile did apologize so i will give them credit for that but i don't apology is far from from greater than what actually happened i think that's an apology is not even close to scratching the surface of what t-mobile has has let it happen with their whole security issue um and now you're giving us killer zero down for all deal. Um, frankly, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like, I feel like you should have been giving this deal way long ago before the data breach even happened. I do remember having T-Mobile seven months ago, and I heard and I and I think there was another data breach. I think so, or maybe it was before. I honestly, do not recall or remember at all. I remember there was another data breach, and I'm surprised. Uh, um, at least I think maybe if we, maybe it was just in a store. I don't remember. Mom, um, I checked my data was not breached, but I don't think it was a big data breach like it was back then when I was re when I was reading T-Mobile's, uh, you know, issues with the whole security breach. But this deal is um, um, just not it's just not the right kind of deal for T-Mobile to be doing right now. Um, as you can see here, um, you know, you're giving a Samsung Okay, this this is about a year ago actually. They were actually doing a zero percent for all deal, about what like a year ago, like before the whole security breach and everything, and just this deal. Okay, it's all T to all T Mobile current customers. Do you guys think this is a good deal? Do you guys think T Mobile has enough um has enough um you know apology for this? I I'm pretty sure a lot of you will say no. I mean, unless you're T-Mobile fanboys, you know. I mean, I'm not gonna. I mean, if you're, I mean, if you're a T-Mobile fanboy, that's fine. I mean, I really don't. Um, I won't be mad, you know. It's you know, it's it is you know, it's what it is, you know. Just a you know T-Mobile fanboy. It's like it doesn't matter to me, you know. If if you think it's a good deal, you know, good, go for it. You know, get all the deals you want. But in my own opinion, if I was a T-Mobile customer, um, I would not keep this. Um, I would not be for this deal. I would literally, I would literally look at T-Mobile and say, "See you later," and I'm going on to a different service. Um, you know, I probably go to Verizon. You know, I'm already with Verizon. Who knows? I could have, I could have switched to AT and T. AT and T is a good company. I like AT and T, but something about Verizon struck my eye. I don't know what it is, but and it's kind of, fu it's kind of funny. Uh, to me, it's to me, it's kind of funny how. So, I never got a deal like this when I was with T-Mobile. I paid full price, you know, because. I even asked if you have any discounts going on, and they told me, uh, T-Mobile uh, customer service, you know, they were telling, they told me, yeah, we have a deal going on, um, if you get two iPhones and two services, we'll give you, we'll slash, uh, we'll slash, uh, your payments in half, and I didn't really want two phones, um, because I just don't, just don't want to pay more like that, that, that it was a good deal, but I'm on a single plan on Verizon, and I don't really, you know, I didn't really want that kind of deal. But nevertheless, you know, I'm, I stayed with T-Mobile for a while, for seven months, and then I left. And then this data breach happened, and it's honestly kind of funny because it's honestly kind of weird. It's it's like one of those dominoes effects. Like, they literally gave me an unlocked iPhone 12 for the T, for their T-Mobile service. Literally unlocked, and I could leave whenever I wanted, and I went to Verizon. 
it's like a weird domino effect like something like this happened and then something else came along and just it all synced but t-mobile situation here they really need to get their priorities straight they need to beef up security they need to invest more in security to be honest because security is now because now security is all-time high for t-mobile whether t-mobile knows it or not they need to focus more on security not only do they need to focus on 5g they need to focus on security because it's a main concern if this happens again it's just not going to be looking good for t-mobile more lawsuits will happen and they're going to lose more customers i guarantee it what do you guys think about this let me know in the comments hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace